Now you've got the hardware of your Micro Ranger 2 system set up, it's time to configure the software and get you tracking. In this box, there is a dongle that contains the software to be installed on your PC. To install it, simply plug the dongle into your PC and click Start on the wizard. Before you open the software and start tracking, there are a few things you need to do. You'll need to change the IP address to that of the system hardware so that your computer is connected to the Micro Ranger 2 system. To do this, you'll need to open the PC control panel and click on the network sharing area. From there, you need to click Change Adapter Settings, right click on the local area connection and select Properties, and on the Networking tab, click Internet Protocol version 4 and click Properties. The default IP address for the ESH is 192.168.179.80. We will set the PC to IP address 192.168.179.100 and click OK. You can now open the software by clicking on the Ranger 2 icon on the desktop. When you first open the software, it will display the system setup menu with the elements that you require, such as a vessel, a transceiver, an underwater target. In any QT positioning system, it's important that the locations of the various elements are known and entered into the software. In Micro Ranger 2, you only really have two elements, the GNSS antenna and the transceiver. Some vessels have what's known as a common reference point, normally at water level. If this is the case, then when deployed, you need to measure as accurately as possible the locations of the GNSS antenna and the transceiver relative to this reference point. If you don't have a common reference point, don't worry. Leave the transceiver settings as zero, and all you need to do then is measure the relative position of the GNSS antenna. For example, and to keep things simple, if you deploy this antenna on the top of the transceiver pole, you only have one thing to measure, and that's the vertical distance between the two. And this is what you enter on the GNSS settings in the software. To configure the GNSS, select it here on the job tree. You'll see the distance from vehicle CRP at the top right hand side of the settings page. This is where we enter those measured offsets as discussed. The COM settings should be port ESH5 alpha with a board rate of 115200. These should be set as standard, but if you need to change them, you can change them here. With the GNSS configured, we can now move on to the MRT, your transceiver. Now the MRT has an internal magnetic compass to give you a heading. And we recommend that you perform a calibration on this to give you the best possible accuracy in your tracking. Assuming you've installed the MRT with the forward arrow facing towards the bow of your vessel, we can account for any small errors by looking at vessel heading and the MRT heading, calculating the difference and entering that into the magnetic offset box in the status window. Then you're ready to do a full calibration if you have time. To complete this calibration, click on Tools, go to Advanced, and select Magnetic Compass Calibration. Then you'll have to need to navigate your vessel in a slow, complete circle over a period of at least three minutes. This will ensure enough data is collected. Once this turn is complete, you can review the data. The magnetic residual data points should look similar to this example. After mag field mapping, your data should look close to one on the graph. After stopping the calibration process, click right to save the corrections to the magnetic compass. As discussed earlier, if you have a common reference point, now's the time to enter the offsets into the system. Click the offsets tab, click installation offsets, and enter the values as measured. And that's it, you're ready to start tracking. If you wish to improve the performance even more, you can carry out a transceiver alignment calibration and there's another video available at this link or in the description that will show you how to do that. There's more information about Micro Ranger 2 on our website or if you need any more information, you can always get in touch.